I'm Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. We're here at this gorgeous NoHo7 theater here in Hollywood, California. We're here celebrating the premiere of so many amazing films. There are 31 films opening here today, including Toy Story 4 and Child's Play, and 29 short, remarkable films that also have an opportunity to actually get entered for the Oscars, for the Academy Awards. How amazing is that? That this awesome place is giving a platform for filmmakers. It feels like the dream is just so close to these filmmakers. You know, you're just one step away and we're so excited to be here today, including the filmmakers at RNF's Maturing Youth, which is actually screening here today. And not only is this an opportunity for the filmmaker that's just beginning, this is also opportunities for filmmakers and Broadway producers and authors of amazing creations of illustration and poetry and story and wow, there's just so much talent in there tonight. I can't wait to get in there and interview these guys. We'll have an opportunity to talk to Derek Quick of Four Walt Distribution Company. So guys, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Hi, it's Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. I'm here with these two amazing creatures of, of art who created and became and really surpassed anything that's out there currently in your genre, would you say, for, for someone who's starting out? Yeah, I would you say, could say that, I guess. I would say it is, you know, uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of great people worked on our film. Who worked on uh, your film? So we had uh, right here, Jeff Seib is one of them, really hard worker, one of our actors. Uh, we also had Ahmed Arafin, he's our uh, composer, he worked with Hans Zimmer, uh, so he put a lot of effort into this. Um, our sound composer Alexander uh, Robetsky, he also won uh, an Emmy last year as well, so big team. Um, Lots of great people on yeah, there. Yeah, a lot of great people. But I'm just going to jump into about the subject of your film, yeah. and then we'll chat with you a little bit about what you did to like get yourself into character, yeah. your mindset. Yeah, course, yeah. So let's sure. chat about you know, what inspired you to make this film? You know, this film, uh, my film deals with, you know, the Japanese American internment. So it's a real story that not a lot of people got to hear about. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, our west coast became a potential combat zone. Living in that zone were more than 100,000 persons of Japanese ancestry, two thirds of them American citizens. This picture tells how the mass migration was accomplished. Corporal Lancaster. Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> what do you look like to you? Like a goddamn Jap. <laughs> Corporal Hall, what about you? Like Lancaster said, an ugly Jap. You know, first I found out about it through the a lot of the actor programs around here, uh, with a lot of uh, some like Broadway type shows they were showing. There's actually a show going on with the Japanese specifically being interned. So I first found out you. about it, it, inspired me. Yeah. And you started yep. to make a difference. I started to make a difference, and my grandfather's uh, an Ottawa chief of the Ottawa tribe, so he wow, actually he actually faced a lot of this. You know, so that was one thing I really wanted to kind of show you know, kind of some historical historical moments in our country that not a lot of people know about and that, you know, where people were, you know, they were interned in, in camps and we, we saw this in Nazi Germany, which where the film takes place, but we also had these bad things going on in America. And so our film is to really show the past so we don't make those same mistakes. Mistakes, right? Again. Just yeah. becoming aware and conscious. Yeah, exactly. And it's so relevant right now for like where the world yes, is going with it really consciousness. Is. It really is. And uh, yeah, that's our, our film's done really well. Uh, a lot of people are getting to see it. Uh, so we're going to be here next month at the NoHo 7 as well. So July one second so. before you give them too much information. Yes, I do want to chat over here with yeah. Jeff. Mm -hmm. What's up, guys? Jeff, tell us all. What was your feeling when you got into this character, like the first moment that you actually stepped into your character? Yeah, well, when Derek sent me the script, I mean, immediately I just fell in love with it. It was something that, it was really different, unique, compared to what's going on in the world today with these films and stuff. You always see a lot of, like, war films, but Commando 1944 definitely stands out from the pack. So personally, uh, when I mean, when I got in there, I felt, uh, I felt comfortable being there. I liked the role. 
it was a good uh, good to see that you know you start out the role it was kind of more of a changing film so by the end of it we're like united as brothers and stuff and how beautiful is that yeah it was uh, it was a good transition it's a really I liked it. wonderful message to send to the world also serving and doing the right thing Definitely. by putting people on point about what's really going on in the world, right? Exactly, you got to. And uh, and I, the real message of the film is, you know, that we all we all have make mistakes and we all sometimes have these prejudices against people, but the the goodness in people, there is a real goodness in humanity. So we really want to paint the picture that, you know, most of humanity is good. And if you come together as like a team, just like we did, to spread, you know, the good news yeah, and inspiring. the gospel, I guess you'd say, of life, just you know, to help one another. That's really what the film's all about. And to forget about all this prejudice and, and to forgive as well and to move on, you know, because it's great to, to learn from the past, but we don't want to dwell in that. We want to change the future. So that's really what the film is about. And it's, you know, doing pretty well and people are getting to see that, so. Well, you're not off the hook yet because we kind of want to uh, know some of your tribe secrets. Tribe uh, secrets? I mean, yeah, I want to hear this too. What do you yeah. got, Jerry? Tribe secrets. Let's hear this. Give us oh, a man. couple. You know, honestly, um, with, with the Native American tribes, it's all about when you go into something, uh, my grandfather taught me, and you give it your 100%. So before I made this film, it cost a pretty good amount of money to make. I was living in my Jeep for a couple of years here in LA doing jobs, uh, going to film school, really learning it. And I was living in my Jeep. I would go to I go to Hollywood gym at night and you know I would go and shower and things like that and then I'd be on set the next day and then you know I could save that money up. So I guess you know it was kind of cool because I was getting to go I would sometimes go to these premieres and I, I would meet people like Clint Eastwood and then I'd be homeless. I'd be living in my Jeep that night you know and then you know so I mean I really just was instilled in me that if you want to really do something for change you got to kind of sacrifice and that's that's what I did so <laughs> it was pretty it was a crazy sacrifice he even knew you know yeah I remember it yeah yeah I was you know I was going all out so that's that's what it's all about when you do what does it mean to go all out? To go all out really is, um, like, I put my own money into this, you know, I took all my savings and had to live in my car to really get this one made, you know, to the caliber that it needed to be told, you know, go, getting the actual Manzanar, which is a Japanese internment camp, getting to actually film there as well, it was really tough. You know. How'd you sleep in your car? I slept in my Jeep, so rolled up a memory foam mattress in the back, and every time I'd roll it back up and roll it out, I actually slept by a... It's crazy, I slept by Disney Studios. So over there in Burbank, they had uh, these studio houses. So I'd, I'd park the Jeep there and I'd sleep out, you know, by night there. And by the time I woke up, all the Disney execs would be parking their cars out there. And then, you know, my Jeep was pretty clean. I kept it clean, so they never, you know, towed my Jeep, thankfully, out in front of there, so. Do you have any amazing, inspiring words to tell the world? Uh, specifically, like I was saying earlier, that honestly, um, I wish that everyone could really work with other people on something like this uh, because it really does bring out the good in everyone and uh, just you know as we see the past and things going on in the world today you might not agree with it politically but if you if you try to look in the good in everything and, and people then you know good things start to happen and that's what we really try to do you know with all the bad in the world we really wanted to just kind of like look towards the good and try to promote something for change you know so there's that's, just so much goodness in this yeah. room <laughs> Yes, that's goodness, <laughs> that's what we need, right? That's oh, exactly yeah. it. So give us some goodness. Some goodness, let's see. Give it up to I the world. I think the most important thing, a lot of people are always here. talking, talking about doing stuff, but and no one ever takes that first step. Not no one. A, a quote that I really love is, a journey of a thousand miles yeah. begins with the first the step. So you just need to get, get out there, put yourself out there, don't be afraid of like, you know, people judging technology. you and criticism. And that's what it's all about. If you want to grow, you need to be take that constructive criticism and it's how you grow as a person. If you want the scoop on news and you want all the juicy stuff, subscribe, follow us. The links are below. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, and you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.